was you a flash and fireman back then? You, this, what was you driving? This is, I was, well, I was in an old truck. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was in my old truck. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was, <clears throat> I wasn't uh, nothing flash. When did you uh, start getting into the like the real estate? Oh shoot! Our first, the first building that we bought was. No, we had we had several buildings. We bought a four unit first, I think. Yeah, your brother. Yeah, we had a four unit first, and then we had a, a forty unit, and and then we went on from there. You know, five units, six units, all that. Yeah, we had, but that we did that in uh. 70, about 79, 80. Was that pretty, pretty lucrative? It was pretty decent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was pretty not decent. Not comparing it to nothing else. But oh, yeah, not here. Yeah. Nowadays, you know, like, we had, <clears throat> we had a brand new 18 unit, and we were only getting $125 a month for rent. Mm. And that was in the eight. Where was that at? Where was it located? Right there at Linwood and uh Truce. No, it was right off Truce. Where was that? I mean we had that property on Truce too. Yeah, we had all that then. Uh but yeah, that was uh it was nice. But <clears throat> they uh nowadays what apartment twelve hundred dollars? Eight, nine, depend yeah. depending where you at, yeah. Yeah, twelve hundred dollars for for a three bedroom or two bedroom, twelve hundred dollars. Uh, but it's basically. Uh, so when everything happened, but where was your, your, your real estate portfolio at? Oh, it was. Way, it was up there. <laughs> yeah, it was way up there at the time. Yeah, yeah, that bad boy was way up there. So was everything like yours or? You know that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So they that people took everything. But <laughs> so, like I let my girl, this one girl, I put a house in her name. Oh no, we didn't do it. We yeah, yeah, we were, yeah we were strictly strictly legit on the uh, on the uh, real estate. That was yeah. It's the, everything was in our name. Wasn't it? we? The, that was the thing that that confused a lot of people is we wasn't trying to hide anything. Everything like like they took ten cars from me. And they said the reason that they took the cars was because I tried to hide ownership of them. Well, the cars were in my name registered in the state of Missouri. I said, okay. We tried to hide that. Nobody understands that. And we, to this day, no one still understands that. So Let's back up real quick. What, what was a couple of, so we did, what was it? What year was this again? This was in 1990. So what 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 was a couple of the vehicles you, they took? They took my uh, well, they took my little vet. I had a little Corvette, and I had an old sixty uh, T Bird. They took both of those. That's what they Classic. they had them. They had them in the um, in the auction. Auction just shit out. Yeah, they auctioned. They showed. They had a, auctioned it off. But yeah, they were everything. Everything was in our name. Was in my name. Like I said, it was registered in the state of Missouri. So it was like, hey, what am I trying to hide from you? And everything's in my name. Well, they didn't, this is one of them, one of them situations where uh, we, you know, we play by rules that float. We're going to play by this rule today if it benefits us, and then we'll change that rule tomorrow if it benefits us. Any rule that benefits us, that hurts you, that's the word, that's the rule we're gonna play by today. So that was one of those situations, but we just kinda, like I said, it was just trying to hide. I was trying, they got me for, uh, I guess I was just, my partner, he said, 
He said, man, you too flashy. Mm -hmm. So that's why I tell these youngsters now, man, you know, <clears throat> and put you, instead of putting your money in a car, put it in real estate or buy you some stocks and bonds or something. You know, don't, don't buy something that's going to depreciate half the next day, the day after you buy it. Jury. Hmm? Did you do jury back then? Yeah, we had, yeah, I always had a little jury. A few rings and stuff, you know. They uh, they they took that. They showed that. They sold that on uh, at the auction at the same auction. They sold that. And uh, but those things there, like I said, that you spend, Appreciate. yeah, you spend fifty thousand dollars on on a ring, and tomorrow's worth ten thousand dollars. You know, and where if you buy. Take that same fifty thousand dollars and go buy you uh, some property or invest it in, <clears throat> and then tomorrow it might be worth a hundred thousand, as opposed to fifty. So, uh, and to pass it down. Yeah.